Yeruba man don't come outside the country the Igbos. So may they drop Biafra agitation and focus on one Nigeria. And here waiting some Igbos reply. Watch the video. Anybody that is praying that one day Biafra will come, that person is under the influence of Inan De Carlo and Simeon Akba. They have bewitched them. They have brainwashed them. There's nothing like that. What they are going to pray for is for a good man with a good conscience to become the president of this country, not to divide it. Even if you divide the country and see me and Akpa become your president, do you think the East will be better? If you need Nandikalu become your president, do you think the East will be better? It will be better under their leadership. Forget all these things they are saying, blackmailing, blackmailing, blackmailing. They are people. Uh, the Afra people, there is not, division cannot make the Igbos be better because Nigeria have all it takes for everybody to 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 as in to how, live well. how am I go yes to live very well. Nigeria have everything it takes. Somebody is coming to tell you that even I on the internet I saw, I saw uh, in 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 talking about, talking about sending uh, one thousand five hundred of Igbo uh, uh, children because I will not call them the Afra army to go and die in Israel. Hmm. He's looking for business. He will sell them and collect money behind. He's looking for children. I don't blame him. Oh, these people that I used to follow them. Biafra, Biafra, where? Biafra, where? Where can that Biafra come from? He can't come. So Biafra is not. There is no hope. Anybody that is telling anybody that uh, next year Biafra will come, this year Biafra is just not. He's just deceiving people, causing chaos everywhere in the east, killing children and killing the soldiers for nothing. There is nothing like that. It will never come to pass. Anybody that is praying that one day Biafra will come, that person is under the influence of Inan De Carlo and Simeon Akba. They have bewitched them, they have brainwashed them. There's nothing like that. What they are going to pray for is for a good man with a good conscience to become the president of this country, not to divide them. Even if you divide the country and Simeon Akba become your president, do you think the East will be better? If Inan De Carlo become your president, do you think the East will be better? It will be better under their leadership. Forget all these things they are saying, blackmailing, blackmailing, blackmailing. They are saying they are still the same thing with those, same, those sets of people. So what everybody is going to pray for in this country is to pray for a good leader with a good conscience. Just like what the Bible says, when the righteous is on the throne, the people rejoice. The righteous is a man with conscience, man that loves the people, man that loves the nation. And there is one thing again, Nigeria don't love their nation because we were not taught in our school how to Believing without Igbos, no Nigeria. And we also believe, Yoruba believe, that without Igbos, no Nigeria. So, and that is how it is. Because I believe, no, forget about the good oil itself. We're not talking about oil. Because they share oil for themselves. But the, where you I bring a servant in your house, maybe something is not moving well in your house. Where you brought a servant, it is it's, it's moving. If your spirit is telling you truth, you will not say, this guy, this girl, this child, or this boy, carry favor into your house. You need to make him well, let him be happy. So they don't believe that the Igbo man can be in power. That will not be true. Even if be, God has blessed them to move him forward. But the only way they know, the average Yoruba man be, want to go. Forget the people in the power that are eating. Because I know that the way you, divide, where you settle as boy, where they serve you, where the boy, maybe we see that that boy every day, we go, I want to go December, I want to go December, where you settle him? You know, say even three years you cannot go because he hustled how to survive. So that's how Nigeria be. If you divide this country, Hungary cannot hold Yoruba people because they are trying, they are hustling. I will say the same. But because of the oil have already hold their mind, everybody focusing on oil. But we're not talking about oil. We everybody talking what God buried inside you, you to bring it out and achieve what you want to do. That's what we believe. So if you divide Nigeria, Biafra no Hungary cannot catch them. You do the work, I'm gonna add a work, but they are afraid. Everybody will be able to announce their resources. What well, once you do, you see everybody will be happy. Right. Because the favoring go people in the government, everybody say about this government. From the very day this man stepped into office, it has been a problem to the masses of Nigeria. Mm. So there is nothing, nothing to applaud him about. Mm. So that's what I have to say concerning his uh, eight months in office. Go to market, you can buy food stuff. 11 months, sir. 11 months. Go to market, you cannot buy food stuff. Yesterday, I want to go, uh, go to market to buy just a custard of garlic. It's 2,800 naira. It has never been high since the history of Nigeria. How can somebody survive? How much is minimum wage? And they are still dangling with it. How much is it? If a custard of garlic should be 2,800 and half custard should be 1,400. What about rice? 
and one thing I'm still telling people that there is no way, even if the dollar like it comes down to the to 500, 400, that things will still be high. Why? Because of the price of diesel and fuel. Diesel and fuel control the food stuff. Like you go to market to buy meat, it's small meat that normally we buy one, two. It's 3,000 something now. 3,000 something for that small meat. So do if you, you want think to there cook, is hope for Nigeria? There is no hope. What do because we do? they know what they are supposed to do. The first thing you must do is see the fuel and that diesel. Diesel affect the building material. Diesel affect the food stock because those uh, uh, are people that used to brought them up from Kano. Do you know how much? Even the same thing with the gold, do you know how much? It goes to building material, granite, sand, and all those things are diesel. Even the dredger. So house and food stuff is caused by that fuel subsidy remover. So if he's doing anything and he has not done anything concerning the price of diesel and the price of fuel, then he has done nothing for Nigeria. What will you say people clamoring for division of the country, Biafra or the Duwa, and especially Biafra people? Uh, Biafra people, there is not, division cannot make the evils be better because Nigeria have all it takes for everybody to to, to as in to how, live well. how am I go yes to live very well Nigeria have everything it takes somebody is coming to tell you that even I on the internet I saw, I saw uh, in 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 talking about talking about sending of Igbo children because I will not call them Biafra and to go and die in Israel hmm. he's looking for business he will sell them and collect money behind he's looking for children I don't blame him oh these people that used to follow them Biafra Biafra, Biafra where Biafra where where can that Biafra come from he can't come. So Biafra is not... There is no hope. Anybody that is telling anybody that uh, next year Biafra will come, this year Biafra is just not, it's just deceiving people, causing chaos everywhere in the East, killing children and killing the soldiers for nothing. There is nothing like that. It will never come to pass. Anybody that is praying that one day Biafra will come, that person is under the influence of Inan de Carlo and Simeon Akba. They have bewitched them. They have brainwashed them. There is nothing like that. What they are going to pray for is for a good man with a good conscience to become the president of this country, not to divide them. Even if you divide the country and see me and become your president, do you think the East will be better? If you need Nandikalu become your president, do you think the East will be better? It will be better under their leadership. Forget all these things they are saying, blackmailing, blackmailing, blackmailing. They are saying they are still the same thing with those, same, those set of people. So what everybody is going to pray for in this country is to pray for a good leader with a good conscience. Just like what the Bible says, when the righteous is on the throne, the people rejoice. The righteous is a man with conscience, man that loves the people, man that loves the nation. And there is one thing again, Nigeria has not loved their nation because we were not taught in our school how to... This country called Nigeria will be served. Not like uh, all this, uh, you know, all this uh, uh, Book Haram, all this... Uh, Oh, any all this killing of people, killing of soldiers, all this killing of people. Okay, my people, what do you think about this video that you just watched? Do you think that this guy needs some colos medicine so that his head go feel there? Okay, how can you tell something that been fighting for many years, decades that they are joking on their <laughs> on their quest of freedom? <laughs> However, share the video and don't forget you are still in news info. Please subscribe to this channel and turn your notification bell. Thank you.